Dispenser, and I'm shooting a personalized tutorial video for you and your team so that you guys can get through the Wirecast setup. So according to the way that you guys are doing it with the Google Hangouts and using Wirecast, this is the setup you guys want to use. First off, um, a word of caution, you want to close Skype and Google Hangouts before you get into Wirecast. And the reason why is if you have Skype open, it can at times have a conflict with your microphone and your camera device. So make sure you close out those two. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to get into the tech things. We're going to go to broadcast, canvas size, and the canvas size we want is the 720p. Okay, so we're set up with that. Now the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to go in and add our shots. So we're going to add the devices, so I'm adding my webcam. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is you have to have your audio. So the, the audio device that I'm going to use is the audio from my webcam. Now, if you're on a MacBook Pro or a different computer, it might be the eyesight and the cameras or the computer's audio. So once you've added that, um, since you're just a single camera shot, you don't need to add other cameras. If you are doing a live event or other cameras, you'll see those cameras down below. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to add the the actual video, you know, your pre-roll, your post-roll. So I'm going to come through and just do a simple video to show this for you. And I'm going to add another video. I'm just going to do the same one so that you guys have an example. So the audio from this video that you see will be the one that's playing. So when you click on that, you can see over here in the audio meter, it's the audio from that video. Now, if you choose to have audio, then, you know, have your voice go, you know, speaking while that audio is going, what you're going to need to do is this. You have to come over to the video itself. You have to click edit shot. Then from there, you need to, what they, you know, add it to the shot. So you put a plus button and then you have to select the microphone. So now I have both the audio from the video and the audio from my microphone going. So that gives you an example. Now if you want to have a lower third on your name, so we're going to, first off, we're going to duplicate this shot. And so we've got this in the place. And a lot of times what I like to do is you can actually rename. So if this would be your, um, you know, two minute clip, as you mentioned, there was a two minute clip. Now you know exactly what those are. So we'll come here to the audio and we're going to edit the shot. Once I've edited the shot, I notice on the audio, since I duplicated it, it does not have a video to it. So we're going to have plus and we're going to add the video. Now, on top of that, what we need to do is if I'm going to do a lower third, I'm going to have a plus again. And then I can see that I have all this, all these separate pieces. Now, if I want to add something to it, you know, text, then I have to have a lower third on it. And so when I add a lower third, I'll add that lower third. And then now the text for it, you can see here. And so we have all these three. And I'm just going to click on the text button and I'm going to type in my name. And then we will type this in. So good. So now I have, if you look at that, I have a Spencer Shaw STL. I noticed one thing that I did mess up on, so this is a very common thing. You want to make sure that you click the plus and have your audio. So now I have audio on both of those. Okay, so I've walked you through uh, setting up the audio and setting up the video, and you have also your other videos there. You want to label what those are and then edit those clips out. So if it is only, you know, for example, uh, if you only want to show two minutes uh, of a five minute video, just have a clip that is only two minutes. Uh, because once you get in here, there is no uh, edit, you know, no video editing at all. And it's going to give you a countdown and then you can see what that is from there. So for all purposes of what we're covering in this, these are the pieces that you're going to need. Now, once you've completed that and you have all of your shots set up, and this is your shot list, and that's what they call this area down here. Once all of that is set up, now you're going to do your next piece, which is coming in here, 
you're going to go to your broadcast. Well, first off, you can look at your broadcast settings. Um, if you are just doing the Hangout, you don't really need to mess with this. However, if you are using YouTube Live, if you're doing other uh, places, you know, for example, let me show you in here. If you were going to go through and do a destination of Ustream or other areas like that, then you could get into the broadcast settings. You don't need to do that. Um, but you do need to get into the virtual camera out. Um, I had that clicked earlier, so let me show you which ones you need to have. For your virtual camera out, you need to have a 720p and then a virtual microphone. If your camera connection is very weak or your internet connection is weak, you will go from the 720 and you'll bring it down to the 360. Um, but if you can, try and keep it at the 720 because it keeps your quality much higher. Now, once you've done all of those things, you're going to save your settings and you'll want to test it and make sure it's good, you know, your template. And so we'll set it up and then we're going to say sound test. And then that way you can open up your Wirecast folder and it will have all of your lower thirds pre-saved. It'll have your videos pre-saved, your camera settings pre-saved and everything like that. It saves you a lot of time on the next thing. So um, make sure, one, you have that saved and everything set up. And I'm following my checklist on here to help you out. Uh, then after we've done all of that, we will then go through and need to open up. In fact, we need to make sure that this is going, which will come out. So I'm going to hit start. So this is now running. Now I'm going to come over here to the Google Hangout. And this is how it works. So start a Hangout. Now once I start the Hangout, I'm just going to call it Sam Test. And we're just going to start a Hangout. Obviously, we know how to do this. So what we're going to do is for my audio settings, I'm going to choose Wirecast Virtual Camera. So you'll see the regular cameras you have, your regular webcam. I have to choose that one. And a Wirecast virtual microphone. So I have all of those set. Make sure that you choose all of those. Okay, excellent. So then, now you can see, I'll minimize this so you can get an idea. I can actually come through and it changes. Now a weird thing about Google Hangouts, you've probably noticed, for some weird reason in the preview, it throws reverse on everything. But now you can see everything is set up in the Wirecast and with the Google Hangout. And I've got that video playing and everything else. And just to go between clips, you would click on this. The default, if you want to change that, you can actually change in these settings right here. If you want it to be, um, you know, a clip, you know, see how that was, it just kind of cuts over instead of has a smooth transition. You know, see how this one, so there's a smooth transition. So you get to choose how you want those settings. So now we have the Hangout. And then from there, if you want to have your Skype open, you can open up your Skype. And it's because now the audio and video are anchored in to your Wirecast and your Hangout, and then Skype won't mess with that. But for some weird reason, it's from hours of our testing. If you have Skype open and you, and you um, try and open up your Wirecast, there's a conflict at times. So now that we have all of that set up, the last thing that you want to do is A, you want to be recording with your Google Hangout. That's a great thing to do. So record with your Google Hangout. Um, B, you can also go through here and you can start a recording. And to start a recording, you'd simply come through this and I would start up a recording. It's gonna go through here and you're going to select how you want to be recording. Obviously, um, you want to be recording at 720 if that's what you're recording at. Now, if you are recording this, and remember, it's just going to be your side. So if you're doing a Hangout, um, it may make sense to just be recording through the Google Hangouts or have someone else on a separate computer. But if you're adamant on recording your side, uh, what I would suggest doing is recording on this format, which is H.264. And then you do an H.264 720. And the reason why H.264 is it actually records in an MP4 format, which is a smaller file size. It's higher compressed, but it's actually a really high quality. And then you'll decide where you want that to save to. I don't save it to there unless it's a live show. Um, and then if it's a live show, 
without people in the Hangout, then I do always save it. Um, so that should be the steps that you'll need to be able to set up the Wirecast and to be able to have everything broadcasting. You'll want to preview this and then again make sure that you save those settings. If you have any questions, obviously we're here to help out and I'll send this video to you. Thanks, Sam.